What is good, YouTube? It's your boy back again. Today, I'm gonna take you through what I realized I haven't shown you in a long ass time, and that is a full blown back workout. This is back workout A. And the reason I chose to do this one today is because, well, yesterday was my birthday. I'm now 25 years old, and today is someone else's birthday. And it's gonna be the first time I work out with this person. It may be a year, two years, I don't know. You can check the footage on my channel to see the last time I chilled with him or worked out with him was. But on the OG of the OG of the OG subscribers will know who this guy is. So with that said, I'll take you through the full workout. Let's go make some kick. All right, there he is. The collab of the century, the reunion. We're back, baby. What up, what up, what up? What's going on everyone? It is time for back workout. Like I said, as you've probably noticed, it's been a while since we cranked out some back. And for those who don't know, by the way, cause I don't think I made it very clear there, but that's my boy, IJ, okay, Isaiah. He uh, he has a YouTube channel. He hasn't uploaded anymore though, but uh, him and I used to crank workouts all the time. And well, after about a year of doing so, things haven't changed. He was out because of an injury, so, uh, that's why he's finally back. But anyways, you'll see that we start off with, you know, nothing new here, weighted pull-ups. Now, the thing about these is since I'm a lot bigger <laughs> than at least the last time you saw me do this, at least when I was super shredded, these are one of the only exercises that get a lot harder, right? Because obviously you gotta pull up more weight as you increase body weight. So I think I was weighing in at about 221 this day. Plus, we were doing four sets of eight to 10. We were aiming for like nines. Right after that, you'll notice something that did get easier, though my form could be better. Um, I'm a little bit more lenient with back form just because my back grows from massive weight, even when I, my form isn't as impeccable as it could be. Just genetically, my back responds very well. As you guys know, back is a massive strong point for me. Uh, and I am hitting the 130s on the row here for 10 reps. We do three, I believe we did three sets this day. Typically do three sets here. Uh, eight to 12, but more, more like eight to 10. Again, keeping it heavy at the beginning of the workout. As you know, starting with compounds all day long. Now listen, this exercise right here, is not one that's enjoyable, okay? At least not for me. I hate this one just because it takes so much out of you. It's very systematically fatiguing, uh, but I do think that it is very rewarding. Obviously, I think that the, uh, uh, not risk, but effort to reward or fatigue to reward ratio is good enough uh, to include it in my workouts. So this is how I've been starting every pull A workout. And here's IJ cranking his set. Um, honestly, a lot better form than what I had. As you'll see, he is almost essentially parallel to the ground. Moving on, we do hit some pull downs, reverse grip pull downs, okay? Now, I'm using straps simply because, again, as you'll see, weight is getting heavier. And I'll be honest, I got hyped up working out with this guy, okay? My form is not the greatest, okay? I know I'm not proud of this form. Um, but I really, <laughs> we, you know, we looked at each other we're like, you know what, we're just going to crank some weight today. And every once in a while, especially when you're bulking, okay, when I've got all that extra fluff around the joints, you know, um, you can get away with this. Do I recommend it? And I would probably never recommend people do this unless they are, you know, they know what they're doing and they know what limits to take their body to and so on and so forth. So I believe here, <laughs> I was, uh, me and IJ, the good thing about having IJ as a partner too, is we die of laughter in between sets, so it keeps it very lighthearted, but then when we get down to it, we blast weights, you know what I mean? Like we get intense, the sets are serious, we don't play around. So if you can find yourself a partner like that, that would be awesome. And uh, you know, now that he's back in the game, look forward to seeing more of him in these videos, all right? So, uh, as you'll see, I lighten the weight here to keep slightly better form. Okay, this is better. By the way, if you're wondering about the lean, 30 degree lean, uh, which I think mine was definitely a little bit more than that, but leaning back on the pull down has been shown to activate the lats more. Although I do feel like I'm leaning a little much to where it might be more of a row at that point. But hey, like I said, my back, massive strong point. Actually, I'm noticing my arms look dazed here. Man, that's getting me hyped. I gained a shit ton of weight. Here's IJ doing his set. 
as you'll see, his form again is looking better than mine. He's not leaning back nearly as much. He's not swinging nearly as much. This is how I would recommend you perform the weight. I often do mine like this with a lot lighter weight than what I was doing. But again, sometimes, you know, at least as a guy, you just want to have fun. Next up are these shrugs. Actually, it was IJ's idea. I've never done these before behind the back, at least not in years. He recommended doing it behind the back. And let me tell you, the squeeze is a lot better. Kept the weight a lot lighter, okay? Uh, and this really helps isolate the traps a lot more going behind the back, okay? Now, I can at least say that my form on this was good, okay? But again, it's hard to fuck this one up, okay? So this really forces you to keep the shoulders back, which will engage the traps when you come up and squeeze. Uh, I like this one a lot better. I'll probably be doing this one a lot more than like a front, uh, front loaded trap uh, exercise, okay? So good on you there, kid. Next up, we hit uh, a tricep, okay? This tricep is going to be some pullovers to finish off with some isolation for the back. As you'll see, we obviously moved down to isolation, the traps, the pullovers, to the end of the back workout. We got the majority of our gains with those compounds at the beginning. This is uh, high reps, as you'll see. We're looking for 10 to 15 reps on this, and the traps also, by the way, was 10 to 15. The pull downs was uh, uh, 10 to 12, okay? Right after that, we go immediately into a face pull. Okay, so the face pull, you're pulling up, up at about eye level. You'll see I'm hitting right at eye level. Okay, if you look in the mirror, you'll see that perfect alignment. Big squeeze. Um, this one, you're also going 10 to 15 reps. You are trying to get to the higher end of that rep range, okay? And just off these two supersetted alone, you're gonna nasty pump up in that trap area, in those rear delts, in the lats, but we're not done there. I speed on over to the dumbbells and we're gonna hit some uh, lateral dumbbell raises here. Okay, now again, I'm proud about this one, but you know that my form on the laterals, very strict. I try to keep my arms very straight and I don't swing here, okay? Arms could be straighter, but still um, really focusing on that uh, side delt here, okay? Those are 15 pounders in my hands. You'll see people, I remember I used to do these with the 50s, okay? Just swinging like crazy, stupid, stupid. I see way more gains this way. Okay, so make sure you control these weights. This is gonna be 12 to 15 reps. And again, light weights there. After this, we move on to some biceps, the fun part, the real workout starts, you know what I'm saying? As you see, <laughs> I've made some gains in the bicep department over this bulk, okay? Uh, so three plates on the hoist, preacher. This is going to be four sets, no, sorry, three sets. Three sets of this. And uh, the reps are high, it's 10 to 12, okay, 10 to 12 here. Um, after this, we move into another bicep exercise, that's why. And look, we're not trying to destroy biceps as much as possible. I usually only do the one exercise at the end of my back workout. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> usually, <laughs> usually do uh, biceps at the end. Um, so it's really just one exercise. You know, they got taxed through all the workouts beforehand. But again, I'm with the kid reunion for the first time in a while. His arms will catch up to mine real quick, trust me. He's got sick arm genetics. Uh, but we decided to add in uh, four sets of some dumbbell curls. Now, I wasn't planning on going too heavy. Turns out I ended up going pretty heavy. I was going with the 50s here. Um, typically fresh, I'd be doing like 60, 65. So this is still relatively heavy for me, especially after all the work we did beforehand. But uh, that's pretty much it. We got this nasty pump. You know how we do. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, laterals, face pulls, they're fucking pull exercises. Don't give me none of this bullshit. Like, shoulder system pull, it's push. Listen, there's no fucking rule book to it, all right? I make the goddamn rule book. So I throw them on here and I do them on push day. So what's good, okay? Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you. Love y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Check out this physique. Check out this pose, though. Ah! All right. That is it for the workout. As you see, just showered. 
I'm ready to get my post-workout meal. I am super, super hungry because that workout was deadly. We crushed it. It was great training with IJ again for the first time in a long time and be looking out to see him in more workout videos coming soon because uh, we're going to try to make this a regular thing. He was coming off of an injury from before. That's why we didn't train in so long because he didn't train for so long. So now hopefully we're going to get him back up to where he was and past it. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. If so, thumbs down if you want to get roasted. You know I'm always here for that. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next day of gains. Thanks again. I'm out.